Nitto's Trail Grappler tire should appeal to truck owners out there who want the look and performance of a mud tire, but with slightly better road manners and a little less noise, all for the two to $400 price tag. Now I say that because this tire will vary depending on your size, of course, and you can grab it from 31 to 37 inches in diameter, fitting wheels from 17 to 20 inches in diameter. So just make sure you're buying the correct tire for your setup. Once mounted and balanced, this thing will get a simple one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter from me, when we will talk about the install a little later on. Nitto's Grappler series of off-road tires is pretty expansive and ranges from their Dura Grappler, which is geared more towards on-road or highway use, all the way down the spectrum to their Mud Grappler, which is the company's most aggressive tire they offer in regards to all-terrain or off-road performance. The trail grappler that we have here in this video is actually gonna be one step beneath the mud grappler in regards to off-road aggressiveness and capabilities. And again, we'll offer a nice balance for truck owners out there who want some of the looks of a mud tire and of course some of the performance, but without the excessive noise that comes with those more aggressive treads. Now to achieve that balance, Nitto took some bits and pieces of other grappler tires and kind of combined them to formulate the trail grappler here. For instance, they took the on-road characteristics and comfort of their very popular Terra Grappler and then took some bits and pieces of the Mud Grappler, which we already talked about, and ended up with the trail tire that you're seeing right here. Now, I do think this thing will be very popular with truck owners because of that balance. You're getting a look, you're getting some of the performance of that mud tire, but you're getting about 35% less noise while on the road compared to that mud grappler, which is pretty nice. Let's be honest, guys, there's always going to be some kind of expected road noise when going to an aggressive tread design like this, but it's nice to know you're not getting as much as you would with that mud tire. Now to do so, Nitto kind of got fancy. They did their 3D simulation or modeling to help shape the design of the tread blocks, kind of move them around a little bit to ultimately land on the best balance of road noise and performance. And the finished product is what you're looking at right here. Let's stick with the tread a little bit longer here with the Nitto because it's honestly one of the most unique things with this tire or really any tire for that matter. Now your shoulder grooves here, according to Nitto, are gonna help provide you some additional steering response and stability, both on and off road when you're pushing this thing pretty hard. And the center siping here is gonna help kind of evacuate any extra water or snow in those inclement situations. But let's take a closer look at how this thing, the trail grappler will help you off road and taking a closer look at the tread, it's pretty easy or clear to see how they borrowed some stuff from the mud grappler that we talked about a little bit earlier, right? Because check this out, you're getting those huge voids in between the tread blocks here. And along with that, you're getting some raised portions in the shoulders. And this is just simply gonna help you eject all of that debris out of the tire when these things start really spinning up, clearing themselves out from the mud, the snow, the dirt, the rocks, whatever, when situations get a little bit hairy. But I do wanna move away from the tread and talk a little bit more about the sidewall and a feature that's pretty unique here with every grappler tire from Nitto, and that is the fact that they're gonna deliver two different sidewall designs per one tire. So what do I mean? Well, you're getting some more traditional lettering here on this side of the tire. These tread lugs here on the side are a little less angular, but flip this guy around here and you have more stylized lettering. The tread blocks or lugs are a little bit more angular. You got some different grooving going on. So it is pretty cool, something that Nitto offers again on every single grappler. It just gives you some options when how you wanna mount these things and how you want them to look. I don't know, I'm easily amused and I think that's really cool. And it is something that is unique here with the Nitto. Now aside from the two designs, sidewall, you are getting a rather thick three-ply sidewall design, puncture resistant, and it is a little bit more reinforced around your shoulder area here because honestly, this is where most failures occur with all-terrain tires. In fact, the number is somewhere around 85% of all-terrain tire failure occurs either in the shoulder or sidewall area. So to kind of prevent that, Nitto added some improved lugging around the sidewall, which we already talked about. And it's also gonna help give you a little bit more traction while off-road as well, especially when you air these guys down on the trail. As far as your pricing is concerned, well, two to 400 bucks here, depending on your size for the trail grappler, pretty standard really in the tire category. And another big thing to point out here, gang, if you're putting these things on a new set of wheels, grab some TPMS sensors, otherwise you're gonna get that annoying light on the dash. 
On the other hand, if you're just looking for a stock tire replacement to put on your factory wheels, you can totally reuse your factory TPMS sensors without issue. As far as that installation is concerned, well guys, most of you probably don't have a mountain balance machine in your own personal garage, so chances are these will be handled by your local tire shop. But once everything is all sorted out, bolting them up to your F-150 is a very simple task. Yes, they're a little bit heavy, but as long as you have a socket wrench and an impact gun, you should be able to knock these out in about 30 minutes to an hour. So let's call it one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter before you're all ready to rock and roll. So if you guys are after mud tire looks and performance, but without the excessive road noise, you'll want to check out the Trail Grapplers right here at americantrucks.com.